distribution water. Then there is a, a jump of uh, diffusion at the surface before incorporation in a kink of the crystal. So as, I, as you see, uh, the crystal growth looks like a hurdle race where the hurdles are energy barriers due to the convection, volume diffusion, adsorption, surface diffusion, dehydration of this uh, hydration water, and molecular alignment. So this sketch is uh, given by Van Hook in the 70s to say it is really a hurdle race. One molecule getting from the solution to the crystal and incorporated to the crystal has to go through number of energy barriers. So the role of hydration water seems to control the rate of growth through the activation energy of the dissolvation. It seems that the dissolvation, the disassociation of hydration water, so the energy barrier uh, controlling the uh, crystal growth. Diffusion of sucrose molecules in the boundary layer around the crystal cannot be used as the only driving force for crystallization because diffusion constant were found to tend towards zero when the concentration reaches 70%, 80%. And if there is no diffusion, there is no growth. The growth is, uh, is necessary due to something else. And this something else is getting rid of hydration water. With, when uh, the molecules become anhydrous, they can go to the kink, they can stick to the crystal. In all events, the Stokes-Einstein diffusion model is unapplicable, even if it is adjusted through sophisticated models like the adhesion slipping model, etc. So, assuming that water activity at crystal solution interface is that of saturated solution, and water activity in the bulk solution is AW1. The migration of water from the surface of the crystal to the bulk uh, is function of this difference in water activity between uh, the water activity of the bulk and the water activity of the surface of the crystal. The same process can be assumed for sucrose for sucrose in the opposite way, which means that sucrose has an activity AS1 at the surface of the crystal, AS0 in the bulk solution, and the distance of hi between hydrated sucrose molecules being ver very weak, their binding is strong, it's hardly conceivable that diffusion can take place. The migration of water molecules could be the uh, molecular rotation, uh, could be due to the molecular rotation of sucrose, dissolvation and transfer of water to the bulk, as was proposed since 1950 by English and Dole. Some other arguments may be given in favor of this model such as the rapid development of phases 110 and 1-10 one uh, due to the molecular mobility around the uh, fructose. Another thing uh, is that alignment of molecules and uh, their incorporation to uh, the crystal is not uh, uh, an, easy, an easy thing a continuous thing. It seems to be uh, like uh, a beating heart. It is a pulsation crystallization, which means the hydrated molecules of sugar diffuse to the uh, layer. Then in this layer, 
the molecules try to be desolvated and to be aligned in the right place to uh, get the crystal grow. But this is not a continuous, uh, smooth uh, model. It is by pulsation. And uh, <coughs> this picture uh, was a gift from a colleague from the Netherlands to show me that uh, under ultra mic microscope, uh, filming the uh, peregrination of molecules, at some time you see this pulsation of, heart, of the heart of the crystal. So this was the, uh, <laughs> uh, the part a little bit away from your uh, concern, but it is not so, so, <laughs> uh, so now the industrial level being planed. <laughs> In the industrial level, you have, of course, uh, the boiling, which is the main uh, process in crystallization. For seeding, you have to proceed uh, as, as rapid as possible the concentration of syrup. Then to introduce seed slurry in moderate supersaturated solution of around 1.2. Wait until complete dispersion of the uh, seed particles is made. And add water. Each step uh, of the crystallization process needs adding water. Add water to dissolve the fine particles and reduce the supersaturation to, uh, to about 1.1 for growth of crystals. Quality of seeding depends on seed slurry preparation, of course, and the size of seed particles and the um, dispersant. Recently, Polyethylene glycol was found better dispersion because there is no settling as in ethanol or uh, isopropanol. Uh, for growth, you have to increase the mass quid circulation by adding water. Again, adding water is not losing energy or losing time, is even gaining energy because the mass quid circulation in vacuum pan should be as high as possible, and that is an increase of the transfer heat transfer coefficient. Increasing the heat transfer coefficient is increasing the kinetics of crystal growth, and uh, the crystal yield is improved as concentration is increased by adding water. The percentage of crystals augmented and purity of motor liquid uh, lowered, and this is a kind of optimization of growth. The um, crystal growth carried out at the same uh, rate at the speed of evaporation. This helps maintain constant supersaturation. The uh, uh, best way of controlling the growth is to maintain a constant supersaturation super along the period of growth until the level is the uh, final level of the uh, pan. So proceed uh, in two steps to growth. Uh, first, moderate increase of bricks and steam to build the crystal. When you have surface of crystals, then you can uh, crystallize at a higher speed. And this, as we'll see, needs adding water. And in the final tightening of the uh, mass quid, there is a risk of uh, forming uh, conglomerates and false grain, etc. And to get rid of this, add water. So uh, this is a sketch of what you can get uh, plotting bricks against uh, pen level. You need uh, slow growth to uh, have uh, uh, to build crystals and have surface 
for uh, growing the crystals. Then the, here you stabilize. This was also demonstrated by uh, experimental uh, tools like uh, X-ray, sh short angle uh, X-ray diffraction and FTIR and Raman spectra. <coughs> we found that uh, the variation of the vibration frequency uh, of the glycosidic bond, this uh, flexibility of the sugar molecule, goes through a plateau here around uh, 38, 48 percent, which means below it is the dilute solution, above it is almost the beginning of the crystallization, and about at about 38, 40 percent, we have uh, a, a change of structure. This can be summarized like this. In dilute solution, there is no intramolecular bond. This uh, limit, the limit is 22%. Sugar molecules are absolutely flexible. They cannot link to other molecules to form these uh, uh, nuclei or clusters. There is an intermediate uh, concentration between 22 and 38 percent where there is one intramolecular hydrogen bond and above 38 percent starts the crystallization. The crystallization which means the association of hydrated molecules. The association of hydrated mo molecules uh, in dilute solution uh, less than 22 percent of concentration Hydrate molecules don't see each other, they, they don't associate, but they, uh, the um, structure maker effect of sugar on water makes orientation of water molecules uh, at a long range distance. As concentration increases, we have association of hydrated molecules. It is not yet the uh, beginning of the crystallization because we have to get rid of the hydration water. And when we reach concentration above 40 percent, and especially when you reach the saturation concentration, we have sugar-sugar, anhydrous sugar-sugar connection, uh, uh, binding, and then you can say the story of building the crystal starts there. Now, how to get rid of this hydration uh, and how to demonstrate that this hydration water sticking at the surface of this cross molecule has a, a predominant role. Uh, from simple experiments like determining the water activity of solution and measuring the density of sucrose solution, you can get the hydration number. The hydration number is derived from uh, nourish tables of uh, uh, water activity of sucrose solution and also from density and plotting the hydration number uh, versus bricks, versus concentration, you see that until above 40 percent, hydration number five, there is five water molecules hydra uh, hydrating one su sugar molecule, one sucrose molecule. And as concentration increases, of course, the number of hydration decreases. The uh, hydration ratio means the number of hydration number uh, uh, of molecules per OH site is constant uh, until it is uh, five uh, water molecules uh, per eight uh, potential site of hydration. This ratio is consistent with some more 
basic uh, studies by Texera. And uh, as the concentration increases above uh, 38 percent, there is a reduction, of course, of the number of sites receiving hydration water. Uh, and when we reach 66 percent the saturation concentration at 20 uh, degree, we only have uh, 0.63 uh, molecules of water per hydration site. Now, in concentrated aqueous solution, the free water available for this solution, because water is there to dissolve sugar, to hydrate the sugar molecules, and uh, eventually uh, there is a difference between structure of free water which uh, dissolves the sugar and hydration water. So in concentrated aqueous solution, the free water available for this solution is drastically reduced, whereas hydration water is maintained almost constant, three, three water molecules per uh, sucrose molecule. Here are the, the, the comparison between uh, a, s a saturated solution and a supersaturated solution, 1.4, to see that for supersaturated solution, only 30% of water is free when calculated from solubility. The um, uh, estimation of sucrose clusters from density and hydration number, when you have uh, eliminated hydration water and uh, reaching the supersaturation concentration like 78, 85% of concentration, you can calculate the size of the clusters, these pre-nuclei before uh, uh, reaching the nuclei and the crystal. Uh, the estimation of cluster is 10 to 100 molecules per uh, cluster in agreement with literature, especially with Meyerson uh, in uh, a paper in 92. So uh, this needs to be summarized. Sucrose water interaction depend on concentration, sucrose molecule conformation, the folding of the molecule as you have seen. Hydration number is nearly constant equal to five when the concentration is equal or below 38%, then it decreases with the increase of concentration. The, there is an existence of sucrose clusters, these uh, protonuclei, which is given by independent and experimental evidence. The sucrose molecule associates these clusters, reach a critical size, and then you can show these um, uh, crystals by uh, X-ray diffraction, for example. Now, assuming a spherical sucrose molecule and a certain hydration number, it is possible to estimate the size of the cluster. And when it reaches 100 molecules, then you, it is visible by uh, spectroscopic or by X-ray uh, method. The uh, model generally admitted for crystal growth kinetics is the uh, BCF model, uh, Burton Cabrera uh, Frank model, which in supposes that in spiral growth, the time spent by molecules in the boundary layer at the surface of the crystal is longer than that needed for their incorporation into the crystal. Van Hoek describes this step as a step of peregrination of the solute molecules to, from their solution to the site, the kink on the crystal. Uh, to the, this requires four energy barriers before accession of the sucrose molecule 
and uh, being incorporated in the crystal. It has first to diffuse from the bulk to uh, the uh, layer. Then it has to leave this layer after this association of hydrogen. I would, I would like, like to, to uh, thank uh, VSI, VSI organizers of this, this meeting for inviting me, me and, and uh, uh, mentioning, mentioning also, also Dr. G. S. S. Rao, who was, who was at the origin of, of uh, my, my invitation, invitation here in India, India for many, many, many years. years. So, so this, this uh, uh, paper, paper looks, looks a little, a little bit, bit away, away from, from the concern, concern of uh, 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 sugar, sugar cane business, <laughs> sugar cane financial uh, problems. Uh, because, because in, in this, this story, story there, is there is a hidden, hidden actor. actor. The hidden, hidden actor, actor is water. Water, water, water is, is everywhere. everywhere. And, water and water is at the, at basis, the basis of sugar, sugar crystallization, crystallization, as we will see. And we'll, and we'll approach, approach this, this uh, story, story through uh, a, little a little bit of theory, theory. a little, little to, to bit, of bit of basics. basics. My, My uh, professor, professor of, of uh, food, food engineering, engineering, when I was, when I was uh, young, <laughs> he, he used, used to say, uh, theory, theory is, is the best, best way, way, the most, most forward, and, and most, most economical, economical way, way to understand, understand and, and deal, deal with, with practical, practical problems. problems. So, so first, first, I, I would, would like, like to, to dedicate, dedicate this paper, paper to my uh, friend, friend and colleague, and Ted Labuza. Labuza. Uh, uh, he's an internationally recognized, recognized leader, leader uh, in, research, in research, teaching, teaching and, and service for food and agriculture, and agriculture sector. sector. And, and he, he was, was a specialist of water activity. activity. The water, the water activity, activity which is the subject we will deal with, with now. now. As uh, the, the title, title of my uh, talk uh, tells, tells, we'll, take, we'll uh, treat this problem of the role of water uh, in sugar crystallization at different levels, the molecular level, the um, laboratory, laboratory R&D level, level and, and the industrial, industrial level. level. So, so in, in supersaturated solution, solution or in, in sugar, sugar solution, solution uh, in general, general there is, there is uh, a, a step, step preceding, preceding the formation of the crystal. Of the this crystal. step this is uh, pre-nucleation. Pre because, because the, the um, molecules, molecules of water, water and sugar, and sugar are, are just uh, peregrinating, going, going each, each side, side. And, and they, they when you when concentrate, you concentrate the solution, they, they associate. associate. And, and these associations take place by hydrogen, hydrogen bonding, bonding, depending, depending on, on uh, the, the concentration, the temperature, and, and the conformation of, of the sucrose molecule. molecule in, in water. water. What is what easy, easy to know, know is the structure, the structure of a sugar, sugar molecule, molecule in the crystal. crystal. There, there are, are a lot, lot of studies and modeling on uh, sugar, sugar structure in the crystal, crystal but, but in water, water it's, it's a little, little bit more uh, <coughs> de 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 delicate. delicate. What, we, what know we know is, is that, that um, uh, the, the uh, among, Among the, the uh, two, two constituents, constituents of sugar, sugar the fructosyl moiety and glucosyl moiety, the fructosyl moiety has a greater mobility of water around it, which, which makes make it, it more easy, easy for the molecules to go to the crystal surface and to integrate this surface. Uh, if we assume that nucleation consists in establishing sucrose-sucrose hydrogen bonds. There is a need to ensure the presence of these hydrogen bond sites, which means that they are not occupied by water. 
incorporation of the sucrose molecules into the crystal requires a dissociation of hydration water from the sugar molecules <coughs> so that uh, this allows sugar to crystallize as anhydrous sugar, which is not the case for other sugars like glucose, etc. And in our approach, we will uh, try to demonstrate that the most important is not the delta C difference of concentration between the bulk solution and the vicinity, the uh, uh, surface of the crystal. Because intuitively we say the more there is sugar in the solution, the higher the kinetics of the sugar growth. But this is limited by water. Water has to be, to be desolvated, uh, thrown away from the surface of the sugar molecules. And this is the energy barrier controlling the crystallization, to our opinion. And there are some arguments for that. Uh, this is just to recall that the arrangement of sucrose molecule into the crystal in, in the crystal is mainly based on hydrogen bonds. There are eight AOH groups, two intramolecular groups, and uh, six equatorial OHs. The OH number four, linked to uh, glucose, does not fit with the requirement of a stable hydrogen bond because the OHO distance at this uh, place is higher than uh, a stable hydrogen bond. Now, uh, the, uh, it has been shown from crystallographic data and uh, that the fructose in moiety plays a predominant role in this hydrogen bonding inside the crystal. There are more OHFO uh, uh, bonds than that linked to glucose. And this was interpreted by Smythe since 1971 as responsible for the faster growth of uh, Faces 110 and 1-1, because of easier incorporation. And this is, of course, due to the mobility of water around fructose in moti. Water mobility in the vicinity of fructose in moti seems to act as an accelerator of the uh, crystallization of sucrose. Intramolecular hydrogen bonds are uh, embedded inside a network of hydro interconnected hydrogen bonds. And these, because of the connectivity of these bonds, they are stronger than the other bonds. Now, in uh, dilute solution and in gener generally in aqueous solution, the uh, molecule of sucrose leak seems to be flexible. It is here uh, around the glycosidic bond. There is uh, a change in the phi psi angles. And this flexibility is indicated by a wide range of uh, experimental and modeling uh, uh, experiments. The uh, preferred shapes of, uh, uh, of sugar in water solution are indicated by high density observed within the sustainability, uh, substantially restricted range. Rotating around the glycosic bond um, and calculating the energy, the surface energy of each increment gives this type of figure. 
this type of figure which uh, contains uh, hills and valleys, the valleys being the minimum energy, and these minimum energy are the most probable shapes of the sugar molecules to happen in the solution. Uh, <coughs> is your uh, separate saturation around 1.1, 1.5 by adding water. Here you can uh, go through a rapid growth of crystals and when uh, you reach tightening, of course, again, add water to prevent uh, false grain formation. The secondary nucleation, this false grain formation at the surface of growing crystals is due to clusters transformation into nuclei. You remember your, the, the story in the theoretical part in the beginning that the molecules inside the bulk of the solution are gathering to form swarms, to form clusters. When these clusters reach the uh, surface of the crystal, they spontaneously, uh, okay, <laughs> they spontaneously uh, stick to the, crust, to the crystal. Okay, we can skip this one. Now, uh, a lot of things to tell. <laughs> For centrifugation, the washing water in uh, Centrifuge depends on capacity and size. So the excess of water, washing water is not good. Efficacy of washing depends mainly on the position of pre-washing and washing in the sequence. Water flow rate has to be about three, four, five, uh, four percent of the mass quit in the continuous centrifuges. Now, uh, drying and storage stability. Uh, water vapor, uh, partial pressure in the thin layer of the syrup is not a free water that evaporates easily. It, uh, there is a resistance to evaporation. Uh, we'll skip this to show that there is a lot of uh, phenomena occurring during the crystallization. Something to uh, Underline is uh, the role of temperature uh, after the crystallization, uh, after the drying. The drying, increasing of sugar moisture at the surface of the crystal contributes to lowering the uh, glass transition temperature, which means the instability of the sugar and the beginning of the lumping. Uh, a pure sugar uh, sorption curve is very easy. N almost no water absorbed when, e when it is a pure sugar, unless you reach 83%, then it very rapidly uh, takes water uh, to reach equilibrium relative humidity. Equilibrium relative humidity is about 83, 86% of relative humidity. And if you want to know how, what is the critical uh, relative humidity? Just uh, establish uh, a sorption curve, an adsorption uh, curve, and you see by this, uh, scale, this figure how determine the critical water activity at which the lumping starts. Now, we can summarize, but the summary and conclusion is also long. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, to the organizers, it was uh, more than 65 uh, uh, slides. I reduced it uh, to 50, but it is still too long. Uh, <laughs> you, you, when you come from 9,000 uh, 9, kilometers, uh, just for 10 minutes, uh, it's a pity. <laughs> and I have so interesting things to me at least <laughs> to tell. So I, I don't want to uh, uh, skip some of these paper, uh, of these uh, slides. So uh, we have seen how important uh, uh, for seeding and crystal growth, etc. 
I don't uh, tell it again. We have seen that for centrifugation also the quality and the quantity of water and this, the, the, the sequence of washing in the cycle is very important. And uh, for drying, uh, in most of sugar factories, they have steam, they have energy, so they dry at 100, 120 degrees. No need. 50 to 60 degrees is more than enough, providing that air is dry, which means in the Gulf countries, air is not dry, <laughs> although it is at, five, uh, at 50 or 55 degrees, so you cannot get rid from drying air. But drying air can be done by other means than heating it, etc. Okay. Where um, so, uh, oh yes. Uh, sugar stability and sugar quality rely also on establishing a water vapor sorption isotherm and to prevent caking all the items of quality, MACV, etc., temperatures of storage, uh, and uh, also preventing the migration of free water not mixing R2, R3, R4, as some uh, refineries do. <laughs> uh, these are a lot of tiny things which are intimately linked to the story I started with. It is the story of water in sugar crystals. And now, I think, uh, thank you for your attention.